folks at home, folks at home, welcome to another episode of Ike Live. We're here at the 2019 Bassmaster Classic. By now, Ike's probably already held the Bassmaster Classic trophy. Mm. I hope he has. Oh. Man, we're all pulling for him. He's sitting in third place right now. We hope he keeps moving up that leaderboard. But um, we are here uh, with, uh, with, a, with an interesting cast. Uh, we've got the Ginger Ninja. We got Charles from the Ike Foundation, Ike What's Live, going on? Bash University, all and, hats, and Hobie Kayaks. Oh, the secrets out. Yeah, it's been Hobie for a while. Yeah, Hobie was my first love. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, Don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love fishing out of it. You oh, talk yeah. about it all the time. Oh, yeah. And how it's changed your fishing, and you know. So I'm I'm really excited to have our guest here today. We have AJ McWater. And we have Christine Fisher. It's appropriate. How, how appropriate. I know. Th thanks for being on the show with us, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank uh, you. Happy to be here. Uh, it's, it's great to have you guys. We're here to talk about kayak fishing, and you guys are Hobie kayak fishing nuts. That's accurate. Is that accurate? That's, that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. You guys, now you run uh, a tournament trail. What's, it's called the, Hayek, or the Hobie Bass Open Series. Yep, and that's that's a tournament trail that you're the director of. Yep, is that the case? Is that is that how you scored the uh, one of the competitors? Not <laughs> not quite. Uh, this is actually our, our first season uh, running the Hobie Bass Open Series. Uh, we actually met at another large kayak tournament uh, over two years ago. Uh, we were both competitors in a field of 600 plus anglers, and we just happened to uh, to run into each other, and uh, we've been fishing together and competing against each other and, and hitting the road and having a good time ever since. Mm -hmm. That's all, and that's not all. I right, the the carpenter told me over there that you guys are engaged. We did. Is I, that true? Yeah. Absolutely. That is true. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. That's very exciting stuff. Did you when you said you ran into each other? Did you literally like? Well, I, I stole a seat. You stole a seat. I, the room was packed. Um, I was invi I, I was technically invited to sit down in one of the open seats, and all of a sudden, this guy who was on stage for winning a big bass or something like that <laughs> comes up and is saying, "Well, excuse me, ma'am, you're in my seat," and I didn't. I wasn't moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, so. I stepped away for just a second. I, I think in that tournament, I had the fourth largest bass turned in, and I, I won a little money in a kayak for that. And uh, I stepped away for about ten minutes, and I come back, and uh, the prettiest one in the room was sitting in my seat. So, what? was that intent? Did you steal his seat on purpose? You want to get to know this guy? Uh, that was not intentional <laughs> at all at that time. Really? Yeah, not I, at all. I, I think. I think she might be telling a little fib there. I think, <laughs> I think she was making the move on the yeah, man, man with the money. Yeah, man. He's yeah, got the oh big yeah. check. Oh, yeah, big check. Big check. Yeah. No, 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 Pete. Shoot. Pete. She'll tell you about the big checks, okay? <laughs> and the big fish, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, 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 it's awesome. You guys are you guys are uh, competitors out there. Well, you're running the tournament trail. and uh, how, what? Tell me about the tournament trail. Is this a new tournament trail? What, what, what are you guys doing? We, we actually have been running a, a single event on Kentucky Lake for the last five years called the Hobie Bass Open. Mm -hmm. We have a great partner on Marshall County up there, and we, we operate out of the dam, and it's been a really fun event for us. We started with 30 anglers, and last year we had over 120. It's a really a cool event that um, we have a we youth division, too. Mm -hmm. So we have the opportunity to bring youth in to fish, but it's also really grown heavily on the uh, adult side as well. So we took that format and we actually created a full series. So we have six two-day events and we have 11 single-day events. Pretty much what everyone's fishing for this year is a chance to fish in our 50 angler tournament of champions on Lake Wachita this fall. Wow. So that that's uh, it's going to be your, your classic. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, are you going to call it that, the Hobie Classic? No, we're calling it the Tournament of Champions. Okay. And uh, it's something that we really felt there was a need for in this sport to have a, a smaller championship mm -hmm. with still a really high-end potential for the anglers. Something that people really are fishing for, want to attain, just like the Bassmaster Classic. You know, these guys fish all year to try to get that spot, knowing that there's just 52 anglers that are competing for the – the, the biggest title and, and trophy in, in bass fishing. Well, we want to turn the Tournament of Champions into just the same thing. 50 anglers competing for a large purse, a big trophy, and a title that everyone wants. Mm -hmm. That's Are you going to be competing? I sure. That, that is my goal this year uh, is to qualify for that tournament. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be fishing all the Opens. I did really well in the one last year, and I expect to be there. Awesome. She did so. really well. She, she, got, she got third out of 120 on Kentucky Lake wow. last year. Wow. So I had a really good season last year in all my tournaments, and um, my main goal this year out of everything is to make that tournament. So wow. I'll, I'll do everything I can to qualify, and I want to win one. So 
Man, well, you certainly have the right attitude, and uh, you guys are doing. And now you talked about the explosion of the tournament. You know, from a few boats to over a hundred. Kayak fishing is exploding, man. I mean, how do you how do you explain that? I mean, it seems like the whole world is now becoming kayak fishermen, ki especially kayak bass fishermen. Right. Yeah. Well, it, for a lot of people, um, it, it's it's not as expensive to get into that sport. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it allows you just your average guy to grab a kayak, go out and and fish and, or compete. Um, I, I think it's more accessible to a lot of people. You're a larger right. demographic can mm -hmm. compete in our sport when you're not dropping fifty to a hundred thousand dollars on a bass boat. And then for us, you know, we can get our kayaks, and then we don't blink twice at spending a thousand dollars on a rod and reel combo. Right. You know, we got more money for the gear. I, it's I blink twice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I use his you money, and me so both. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's the move right there, man. Hey, Jake, I get some of that money. <laughs> All the tournament stuff is great, but. We got to talk to to this girl right here, Christine, about about some of the massive musky that she chases out of those kayaks. That that that's the highlight for me. I want I want to hear all about it and talk about it a little bit. So it is exciting yeah, because man, man yeah. I was thinking about that too. You know, I've caught muskies and they tow my bass boat around. I can't imagine what they're doing to you in your kayak. They they tow your kayak around. I bet. I mean, they yeah. make it look like you know it's nothing, um, and that's kind of. I've been kayak fishing for muskie for years and years, and that that's my biggest passion. It always mm -hmm. has been. Um, there's nothing quite like standing up and like working a twitch bait or, or burning blades back, and then you see this giant you know upper 40s fish coming after and eating it right at your kayak, and you're literally I mean inches away from this fish. You know, like you're standing just a few inches away from the water, I'm and then that fight's on. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. Like, I, that, that's I'm what gets me going. <laughs> Legit goosebumps. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it, there's there's nothing like it for me. I mean, that bass fishing wasn't hasn't really ever been one. Of, I've always loved to fish any species, but bass wasn't even my top five for a long time. Um, muskie, pike, you know, the walleye. I was a big walleye angler back when I was a kid. Um, has always been my big thing. So, mm -hmm. muskie fishing when I can. You know, last year I hit the tournaments really hard, um, and I didn't leave myself a whole lot of time to to fun fish. Mm -hmm. I think there definitely needs to be a balance because. I, I'm sorry, but there's just nothing. Bass cannot compare to a big old, <laughs> you know, 40-pound muskie coming up. And you realize there's 140-something so thousand the people. Wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the muskie <laughs> shows are done. They're I, over. She don't I, care. I, I she don't know. care. I, I love know. it. She don't care. She's just out there with it. And know. it's funny because I'm like, I, I, I fish Lake St. Clair and even the Delaware River now. We got muskies yeah, running all over there. there. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you catch one in a derby and you're you're like, ah, oh, it's another muskie. And you're like, oh, oh man, it just cost me another musky. 20 minutes. I got to get him in. <laughs> and, uh, no. <laughs> oh, it's another musky. It's another oh. musky. But, uh, but that's, uh, you know, it, it, it is an amazing fish. And we've got native muskies that are stocked in the Delaware now. And right. they're really starting to flourish. Uh, it's cleaned up so much. It's awesome to see. Awesome. They get yeah. in there. You get in the backwaters. And that's where the, I always encounter them. Yeah. And you could see them cruising. Yeah, we're not, yeah, not going to spot burn. But there's a, there's a lake in New Jersey. It's in North Jersey. That is like musky heaven. Yep. It really is. It's like literally on the top of a mountain, and it's crystal clear. And there's a few houses on there. Very little people know about it. That's why Eric doesn't know anything about it because he'll yeah. tell everybody. But yeah. we got we got we got to get you guys out to the you know out yeah, to the East Coast sure. and get you fishing, and then it, and then teach us how to do it. So that well, that would I be can. fun. Yeah, and that, that's got to be you know. Now I've been around musky fishing, and. That's got to be hard work. It's hard work. The plugs are like this big. <laughs> Especially in a kayak. I mean, yeah. my, when I first started doing it, I was in, uh, I won't say the brand, but a, a different brand other than Hobie. Um, <coughs> when, I, <laughs> when, <laughs> I <first> started, <laughs> when I first started, and I was paddling. And um. I remember one of my first fish, I caught a 46 and a half inch muskie um, on a river here in Tennessee, actually. And uh, the person I went out with that was supposed to be a local of the area didn't bring a net. And I flew in, so I didn't have anything. And I was like, man, I, you never, in a kayak, it's so imperative to have the right stuff. And I said, well, you know, I'm here. i got to make this work. Mm -hmm. So this fish is coming into my boat. And with those fish anyway, they're so susceptible. And you, they have a high mortality rate. And you have to be really careful with handling. So I... By some miracle, got under the, the safe plate, got it out. You know, was holding there for a picture uh, with my GoPro running, and the fish did some freak turn. And this giant, like I, had this, I was throwing this big crankbait. I had the trebles hooked this hand, this Ooh. finger, and that finger, and it was to the bone here. And so I'm stuck. The other treble was in the fish's mouth. Oh god! So it's sitting here while it's splashing around. In my the, hand in the water is still. shredding. No, in my, I. 
I wanted to get the lure in the picture, so I held it up because I was I, yeah, one of those okay. companies that was something I affiliate with, yeah. and that was stupid. I never do that, and I did it real quick. And it what did you do though? <laughs> I don't I don't know if you want to I don't know if you want to hear what I had to what do. What did you graphic. do? So it, it's really graphic. Um, it was a uh, it was post front. It's like live. We I, I'm gonna get a are, bad. Are you real sure quick. this is okay? <laughs> wait 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 wait. No, no, <laughs> go for it. Go, I'm kidding. <laughs> what, I'm not necessarily do? proud of it. Let's um, do it. <laughs> but I said it was uh we it had just got there. It was peak major, which is my favorite moon phase for chasing muskie. There was a big front coming in. This one just hit. There was no way I was going to the hospital. Um, and I honestly probably needed to, but uh, I was actually with a gal there who was on that other brand's kayak fishing team and she had never musky fished. But I said, look, Bridget, we've got to get this out of my hands. She got the musky out, got that gone. We didn't have any type of anything to remove it. The, the hook trick wouldn't work because I had both my hands there. So there's nothing you do with that. Did you try it? No, 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 no. <sighs> Because that's I horrible. With the, I the, know. The I, it attempt, wouldn't have. The right. the, the, these failures, aren't bass hooks. You know, these, are, these are huge musky uh. trebles. So she had to take another one of my baits, and I said, use the hook on this bait, and I want you to flay open oh, my man. hand. Oh, no, no, no. So one finger by finger, after about 20 minutes of slowly kind of flaying my skin back, I got those hooks out. I wrapped a small cloth around, and I was back on the river in like a half hour. Come on. She's back There's, on the river. I know. <laughs> it, it, it was Did the most painful, like... I would have been balled up in a corner like it was no. awful. Just I mean, I, I felt like shooting pain going up my forearm when she was when that hook was moving on around my bone there. I mean, oh it was all the way up my man. arm, and I thought I'm for sure losing a finger, but this is going to be a sweet story. Yeah, <laughs> how'd you it. lose your finger? Well, let me tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so those that would like to watch this on YouTube, where is that content? <laughs> Yeah, so Bridget was white in the face, and uh, <laughs> yeah. she, couldn't, she actually FaceTimed a guy that's a musky guy on that river and said, "This, yeah. what do we do about this? And he's like, whoa, yeah. he's like, go, go to the ER. Yeah. Right, I've never seen anything like that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Zoom in. It is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was it was high stress at that point. Like it, it was it was chaos. Like I had never and I've been hooked again two more times musky fishing. Um, not nothing near like that. Mm -hmm. But and that's been easy to get out. That that was uh, I, I will never go without my large net ever again. Yeah. That's for sure. Well for, for people that want to follow you and, and check it out, where where do they go to follow you? Where where, um, where do they go? Uh, I have a my Instagram's Midwest Fisher Gal. Um, I also just started a YouTube and yeah. my goal with that, uh, there's a lot of people that want to get into musky fishing. And like I said, it's not, it, it's, it's trending. It's cool. It looks cool, but it's so imperative to take care of those fish, have yep. the right things on you and know when and how to target them and when not to target them. Musk University, Pete. Yeah. Write that down. Uh, coming next. It's coming. So I'll be <laughs> doing a down. lot of, lot of videos on how to kayak fish for musky coming awesome. up. Awesome. Awesome. Sure. Cool. And what's your, uh, what's your YouTube channel? It's just Christine Fisher. I'm really new to it. I've, I've done it for three months. No, but it's awesome. I'm doing tournament recaps for bass fishing and everything just to kind of educate and hopefully encourage others to get out there. Yeah. For, for, for you guys that haven't seen it and you're going to check it out, you know, awesome content. So, so I make sure you go, make sure you go follow her. Yep. Is yeah, there, cool. is there any video or, or photography of this incident anywhere that if it, if it I, hasn't been posted, so it needs to be. So I do have a be. picture of the, of the fish. Yeah, yeah. It was a, gosh, it was a beautiful river fish. Um, yeah. and you can see the bait that got lodged into my hand. Okay. I, I do have a, I do have GoPro when it happened. Somewhere. All right. Very well, that deep. that's going to be like 10 million views when you decide to put it up. Yeah, it yeah. The, uh, really what, it, what is your, uh, what's your personal best? Um, I've got a 50 and a half on the fly in Ohio, actually, in a, a tributary of the Sayota. This was probably five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I've <laughs> never broken 50 inches in my kayak, and that's that is going to be a yeah. big goal of mine this year. So I've How got a couple big 47s. They get? Uh, I mean, the I think 57, 58 inches is one of the the record in uh, Tennessee. I think is 57, 57 and a half, I believe. That's um, what's that like? 30, huge. 40 pounds? Uh, four, yeah, to, on time of year, yeah. and probably yeah. more. That's wow. that upward potential of a 50-pound fish for sure. Wow. And so I'm, I'm going out tomorrow. My kayak's getting its maiden voyage on Melton Hill tomorrow. So we'll yeah. see. Well, that's, awesome. that, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I, I have a new appreciation for musky fishing. I'm, I know we've got a lot of it around us. and uh, You guys have, yeah, incredible fishing. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, where you, where I catch my biggest mu Lake St. Clair is where we see the biggest. They eat all my smallmouth. Yeah. Good. But uh, <laughs> they get big. <laughs> I'm they, kidding. I'm kidding. They get big. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. No. It's funny how the pike and the muskie 
um, and the and the bass compete for food. Coexist. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, there's spots where the the musky and, and pike will come in, and you'll smash them, and then they go away, and then the smallmouth will move in, and you'll smash them, and it's uh, it's a re- they they coexist. They're they're built to live together. They're they, buddies. Yeah, they feed on different species, and and here's the cool thing: a lot of people when uh, from the bass fishing world, when they catch a pike or a musky, they think, oh, you know, there's there's no bass around here but that's couldn't be further from the truth that's right the Absolutely. big There's the big there. small mouth yeah live with those big muskies and those big pike and and you could target them that Absolutely. way yeah. but uh but it was it was awesome to have you guys on the show it's a pleasure yeah. to meet you both you too wish you good luck in the tournament trail this year good luck with the tournaments this year <laughs> yeah I get to fish a little bit. Not the, I don't fish the Bass Open Series events, but I do fish competitively in some other entities and uh, just love to be on the water as much as I can. But it was an opportunity to grow the sport and be a director of this series that I couldn't pass up. And I'm really looking to s- forward to seeing the direction of, of kayak fishing on that next level. Awesome. Me too. Yeah. And I look yeah. forward. Will I see you both at the Ike Foundation event? It might. We'll, we'll try to get there. I'm not sure. We're gonna, we're I think we, that's it's a kind ways of out of our yeah. way. But, um, yeah. Join pr- the club. <laughs> I would love to fish it though. That'd be a yeah. lot of fun. It, yeah. it would probably be a bad idea to attend because I'm going to win that yeah. kayak yeah. Uh, yeah. division. I this hope year. you do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. I hope we get to see you guys then. But I'm, if not, I'm sure I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks again for being here. Check out Hobie Kayaks and everybody. We're here at the Classic Man. It's uh, Ike Live. 2019. We hope Mike is going to win it. He's going to be so close. We're going to be back with more Ike Live right after this.